We're coming up on Arizona. We have to pop in briefly before going to Utah. Goodbye, Nevada. Hello, Arizona. The Joshua trees have come back. Goodbye, Arizona. Hello, Utah. We are in... Utah! Let's play some music. Sorry, I had to play that song. It was by a band called the Utah Saints. I don't think they have anything to do with Utah, but it's the only thing that I know that has the word Utah in it. It's an 80 mile an hour zone. That's the first one since South Dakota. Utah is yellow. That seems like an almost ethical decision. <laughs> this is Payson, 70 miles south of Salt Lake City. The streets here aren't named. They're just numbered and they've got really large numbers. There's something here. It's the biggest building in town and it's got a statue on top of a man with a trumpet. Something's happening. Is it a wedding? Might be. Excuse me. We're just passing through the area and I noticed this building. This is an LDS temple. Is that a church or is it uh, yes. like a cathedral? It's a church, but it's it's not the, the church that we meet in on a regular basis every Sunday. It's a place where special things are done. Mm -hmm. You have to have a recommend to go in the temple. And it's the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's commonly known as the Mormons. I'm from England. Wonderful accent. Oh, thank you. Is this like for weddings? Some weddings are performed there, but a lot of the Ordinance. events that take place are done for those who have passed away. They're receiving uh, ordinances that were families are sealed together. And we believe that families can be together eternally. If the ordinances are done by someone who has the authority to do that. Some families who may not want that. <laughs> yeah, no, I was going to say. It depends who's in your family. <laughs> um, yes. You'll see little groups of people here because there are weddings that are performed in the temple. It's right. a sealing ordinance that seals the couple together. So. Instead of for time, yes, for time and eternity. We believe that we have the authority to do that. I think it's the only church in the world that has this. Is there any kind of dress code? I'm in shorts. But if we wanted to say go to the big temple in Salt Lake, what would we have to buy him so he could go in? Nothing. Nothing. You, got, you can't go inside you can't any go in? of the temple. Is the place you go on Sundays that called a church? Just no. a chapel. It's a, oh, it's called a chapel. I'm so glad you stopped. Yes. Oh, thank you. For that. Nice to meet you. Just All right, and you, yes, take care. Right. All right, thanks for your time. Right. We are in Provo, and it is the home of the company Novell. Novell were pioneers in networking on Windows and then they bought SUSE Linux, which before Ubuntu took off was a strong contender of being the uh, desktop success for Linux. I'm going to see if we can speak to someone. So we are in the Novell building. Novell have been bought by Microfocus. They're an expanding company. They've also incorporated Borland. Yeah, so we, we didn't film the person we spoke to. Uh, very nice guy. It sounds like Novell are okay, even under the new guise of <laughs> Micro focus. Here are some of the employees playing frisbee. Do they have 10 gigabit internet access? Fuel is 265. So we are in the center of Provo. The speed limit is 15 miles per hour. The history of Utah. Indian restaurant. They have cycle lanes, so we are at Brigham Young University. So what's it like being a student at Brigham Young University? I love it. It's great. Yeah, there's great people. The faculty's amazing. The programs they have here are great. What are you studying? I'm studying information systems. Do you do programming and stuff? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> what languages? Anything you can basically think of. Okay. I start. I start with C++. I mean, they'll teach you anything you're looking to learn. We've oh. heard they got Google Fiber here recently. Yeah, they have that through most of the apartment complexes that they have around here. Okay. It'll just automatically all of them have Google Fiber. 
What speeds can you get on Google Fiber? If I sit down and I'm using the internet, I don't have to worry about speed that's that quick. Is Google Fiber just in Provo or is it in Salt Lake as well? Recently I only know about it being in Provo, but it's been spreading out really. That's a, a plus 10 for, for, <laughs> for Provo. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, well, no, th thanks very much. Okay. It's a not educational institute with a golf cart. The university is named after Brigham Young. Is this man the founder of the university? Or? No, well, sort of. But Brigham Young was the second president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and that's the school that owns the university, so it's a private university. Okay, what's the difference between a private and public university? Because you have to pay for both, don't you? So but, public university is funded by the state or the federal government, whereas private university, we don't get any funding from the government. But in return, we don't have to teach what the government said. I mean, is it a complete, like, do you have a math department? Yeah. It? It's, so it has yeah. the, the full gamut of degree courses. Right, yeah. Do you have to be a member of the church to be in the university? You don't. But you do get a discounted tuition if you are. 98% of the people here are Mormons. What are the courses that do particularly well here? We have a really good business school. Our oh. accounting program is number two in the country. Oh. We're the number one producer of pre-med students in the country. That is in total a six-floor library? Yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's huge. It's got over eight million items, including over four million books. It, it can't rain a lot here. When the snow all melts from the mountains, that's where most of our water comes from. Computer science. What's that? Yeah. So it's all those like, math symbols in there. This is where the College of Humanities is located, including all 85 language departments. Yeah, so about 75% of students here speak a second language. Oh, that's quite common. So most people learn a second language when they serve a two-year mission for our, our church. I served a mission as well, but I served in Russia. <laughs> so the marble in these arches that runs all the way around the courtyard is uh, imported from Italy. The main thing in here is the College of Nursing. Telescope. Mm. Planetarium also in this building. The Mormons believe in young Earth and, and that kind of thing. Well, it's just because you mentioned geology. Right, so. right. It's very hard to deny that the Earth has been around for, you know, millions of years mm. and has been proven. I mean, we do believe that God created the Earth, but how he created it or how long it took him, there's no specific doctrine in our church on that. The Tree of Wisdom. Right. Is that the same as the Tree of Knowledge? No. Oh. It takes a certain perspective to really see it as a tree. So oh. It takes a certain view, a certain perspective to see what it actually is. Every BYU student is required to take 14 credits of religion classes in order to graduate. This is part of the experience here. There's also a lot of elective classes you can take. World religions, marriage and family, elementary school, middle school, high school. That's so, the department for that. Oh. This, this does look not in keeping with the local surroundings. And it's where official campus guests will stay. This is actually the oldest building on campus that we still use. It's the ripe old age of 104. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I give a tour to someone from Europe, they just kind of laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> These lovely mountains are actually a fault line called the... Um, the Wasatch Fault. And in the next hundred years, there's going to be a minor amount of building work in the Brigham Young <laughs> University. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting about a 7.0. Most of the buildings here have actually been either retrofitted or built earthquake safe. First year, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Stay on campus. Yeah. Are they mixed or are they separate? Um, the buildings are separate. So one guy's building, then a girl's building. So that's pretty much the end of the tour. And here are some students. Thank you very much. No and, problem. Um, yes. We'll enjoy the rest of your time in the United States. I hope you guys enjoy it here and find a good spot to live. Cheers. What did you think of the university, Chris? I thought it looked very good. From its humble beginnings of having 32 students, it had become a university of 32,000 students. It's probably a better behaved place for not having drinking, even though it might sound a bit less fun. But yeah.